Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to show you guys how to make the NPC skill giver system. So if you guys want to get straight access for this uh, system, I have it in my Discord server. If you go to my video download section, you'll be able to access everything we have here. All the previous moves, all the new moves, everything you see inside the preview, you will now be able to have access to it. So I'll, in this video I'll be showing you guys how you guys can make this on your own. I'll be showing you guys how you guys can tweak the script and how you guys can get a great idea of how to make your own NPC skill giver system. So the moves that we see in the video were already used for my previous video. So if you want to learn how to make those videos by their by themselves, you can go check out those videos by you can go check out those videos that I made. Uh the Wraith and the, the Firefly and the uh flash step. So go check those out if you want to. And all I did was I all I did was I, I basically made everything organized. So we have the effects folder, our events folder, and we have our, our step. We're gonna be using step for our for our we're using prompt skills for our um for our NPC skill giver system. And we're also gonna get the skills where it's gonna be all the skills that we're using where we, because we're gonna put the skills out of folder so we can parent it to ourselves, so we can give it back to ourselves. And then we're gonna have the creator effects from our one of our previous videos, so don't really worry about it. All right, so getting right into it. So the first thing that we're gonna do here is first we wanna make sure that we have, let's get all like the, um, the characters that we wanna have down. So for this character, what I have here is I basically have a character of myself and all I have, I have a proximity prompt inside of me. And these are these are the uh, the settings that have hold key F. I have um, the hold duration to zero. So you all you have to do is hit F real quick, and you're you're instantly in the pro uh, the proxy. And all I do is make a billboard GUI, and then I just uh, off I offset it, and I just change the size a little bit. Then I uh, added a frame of the text, and we got our little strength trainer. And we go here, we have our little magic trainer. And if we go here, we have our shadow trainer, and the animation will be taught I'll be talking to you guys but I'll be talking to you guys about how you guys can make this inside the code all right so going right into the server script what we have here is first we're gonna get our services because the, that's the most important part and then we're gonna get our trainer so who's gonna be the who's gonna be access who's gonna be our shadow trainer? Who's gonna be our, our strength trainer and then we're gonna get our characters right this, so this is gonna be the animation that we're gonna be using this is gonna be the souvenir our, our, our pull up and it's gonna be our little uh box and so what, what we want from the play while they're idle and this is gonna be our characters right here. And all we're gonna do, all we're gonna do is store our characters out of a table, and all we're gonna do is put the animation according to what we put it as. So I'm just gonna be doing the push-up animation and, and, and vice versa. And then for our main function set speed, all we all this does is just set the speed, just takes the uh, uh humanoid and just sets the walk speed and jump power. And then I, this part, this is where it um it really becomes a little bit confusing for people that don't know how to code as much, but I'll try to explain this as much as I can. So all we're doing is we're gonna loop through. So all we're gonna do here is we're gonna loop through the main table and we're gonna do value.proximity prompt triggered connect function. And when we connect the function, all we're gonna do is we're gonna create a variable called remote string, and this remote string is gonna help us fire our remote event. So all we're gonna do is if our if the first, if we if our if we hit the proximity prompt, like if it fires this, like if we get this, like uh, this is our name. So if we go to character and we get this, like character one, and we get our souvenir. That means we this was triggered by our name. Then we're gonna fire them. We're gonna set uh, our string to strength trainer because that was our strength ten, our strength trainer, and vice versa. Like, like if if we hit let's say row whip, then we're gonna do main table two and we're gonna fire that. We're gonna can make it equal to our magic trainer, and then we're gonna fire it to our remote event. So we're gonna do that again for the shadow trainer as well. That's gonna be block center. And then all we're gonna do is we're gonna do if if we have nothing for a remote, so none of these five then we're gonna re, we're never gonna warn no input, and then we're gonna return end because we don't want nothing else to fire. We don't want the remote event to fire again. And then we're gonna then we're, all we're gonna do is fire the remote event. We're gonna fire the player. We're gonna fire the string. We're gonna fire client. I'm sorry, we're gonna fire the client. When we fire the client, we're gonna uh pass the player because that's the first parameter that, that has to be passed. And then we're gonna fire the remote string, which is gonna be which is gonna tell the client what what trainer is proximity prompt was triggered basically right and then we're going to set our speed equal to zero because we don't want to be able to move while we're in that type of dialogue so before we get to the onset event we want to get to the we want to get to the local side so going down we're going to go to our starter character scripts and we're going to go to our local script so this might seem a little bit confusing but trust me it's very easy so all we're going to do here is all we're going to get we're going to get our services we're going to get our, our proximity prompt. We're going to get our player. All we're doing is we're just getting our basic general data, right? And for our magic trainer camera and basically these cameras right here are these little parts. So if I put this, if I was like to get the, the C frames part right here, I would be like, if I can, if I can get it. So 
I would be looking at my magic trainer like this if the part was down here. So these parts help us define our camera. So we have a part right here and a part over there. So let's go back to the code. So all we're gonna do here is we're gonna just basically uh, get a C frame of whatever we put that certain part at. So then we're gonna make a table called found and we're just gonna type check it so we know what it is. So it's gonna take a string, it's gonna take boolean. So it's gonna take the, the trainer's name. So it's gonna take the trainer's type. So it's gonna be strength trainer, matter trainer, shadow trainer. We're gonna set it equal to false just for debugging purposes. And then we're gonna have the C frame. So it'll be easier to uh, set the C frames and we don't have to use repetitive code. And then we're going to do trainers and we're going to uh, put them into a table with proximity prompts so we, we, we can uh, easily enable and disable the proximity prompt so you can't hit the proximity prompt while you're already in the dialog. And this local function, all we're going to do here is we're going to pass a parameter and we're going to loop through the trainers, which we just defined here. And then we're going to do proximity prompt dot enable. So we're going to set the and then we're going to set their enabled equal to whatever the boolean value is. So if we set this value equal to false, then we won't be able to hit the F key while we're in the dialog. But if we have it true, we can be able to do that. And all this animate text does, all, all we're doing is taking text and text labels. So all it's gonna do is just animate the text so it, 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 uh, it pops up word for word. And this weight really affects it. So if you have like weight one, it's gonna print, it's gonna do one word, weight one, do the next word, weight one, which is gonna be a real pain. So try to keep this a low number. And all this does right here is reset the camera, pretty straightforward, nothing to really explain too much. And then here we go to our UI. So I feel like the UI is gonna be the the key, it's the key starter for all this. So if you go to start UI, and I'm gonna make this visible for you guys. All right, so here's the UI when, this is the, this is the UI that we basically made for our little dialogue system, right? So you can customize it inside of code. I made it really simple so you guys can really understand it. So what we have here is we have two frames. We have we have the back frame just for that little effect. So we have bottom frame, we have the top frame, this bottom frame just for effects. So you don't have to have that. I just add this with a little bit cool. Then we have our yes and no button. And then we're gonna have our main text. So what is gonna be printing? What is gonna be uh, applying here? So let's say like the strength trainer, do you wanna be strong enough? And then we get the move, we press yes, I'm ready. That's all we're doing right there. So this, I feel like it's the really easy part. So just make sure you have like a yes and no button and make sure you have a main text so you can write the text while maybe while they're talking if they hit yes then you want to be like okay you said yes and now this is going to happen so you want to you want to tell the player what's going to happen so you want to have that main text on the top to communicate with the player so i thought like that's that's pretty straightforward there all right now let's get back to our local script so for our local script what we do here is it's just this just reset the ui so all we're going to do is going to create a tween and this tween is going to set the transparency for the text transparency and the background transparency back to one. So when we set it back to one, all it's gonna do is make it invisible so we can't see it again, right? So that's how we're resetting it. And then we're gonna set the, the text equal to nothing, basically, because we don't want the text to be, we don't want the text to be nothing no more, right? And all we're gonna do is start UI, all we're gonna do is, we're gonna do the same thing, but instead, what we're gonna do is we're gonna set everything to zero so we can actually see everything. So it's just the opposite of reset UI. All right, so now we're gonna to go to our, our on client event. So for on client event, this is gonna be the uh, the real butter to combine everything together. So this is just a, a debug statement. You don't really need this right here, but if you want to keep if you want to keep this right here, you can keep it here just to make sure so you know what's running every time you're um, playing the game. And all we're gonna do, we're gonna get our bottom frame, which is gonna be in, in our GUI. So we gonna start a GUI with a bottom frame. We have bottom frame right here. We have our main text. Now we're doing we're uh, just creating the, uh, the camera scriptable so we can actually move the camera around. And we're having our yes remote. We, we don't need this yes remote no more. This is this is useless. So you can just comment this out. And then we're gonna have our buttons, which is gonna be yes or no. And then we're gonna create a tween, which is gonna be the C frame cameras that we made on the top. It's gonna and it has the index of the strength. It has the index of the strength trainer, matter trainer, shadow trainer. So what we can do here, we can do camera C frames at statement because statement fires these exactly. And then when it fires statement, it's gonna give us a C frame. So it's gonna return a C frame from whatever statement is passed, and we're gonna play. Then we're gonna set the proxy equal to false so they cannot hit the F key while they're in the dialogue. Then we're gonna wait like 1.2 seconds because we have this 1.2 seconds we can wait for the camera to officially be done. Then we're gonna start the UI so we can actually see everything. Then we're gonna animate our text. So we're gonna do statements. So statement's gonna be uh it's gonna be the strength trainer, the matter trainer, or the shadow trainer. And it's gonna say, Are you ready? And then we, then we wanna uh, give it to the main text, what text we want to change to. And then we're, all we're gonna do is loop through the R buttons. So we wanna get, the, wanna get the yes and no buttons. We wanna detect every time it, it was clicked. And then we wanna create a debounce inside of there so it doesn't fire too many times. So let's say like, let's say you hit the no button for something else, and let's say it accidentally fires again. We wanna make sure that it only fires one time. So creating a debounce would be the best way for that. And then if we do if found statement, so found it has all false values of the index of the starter of the starter 
of the strength trainer and the medic trainer so the same thing up here the statement is going to fire that so if this so if this is true then we're going to set debunk equal to new and return so what this is doing is it's just for double checking to make sure everything's running everything in the back's running well and if, if hashtag hashtag doesn't fire anymore so you won't need this at all but you can keep it here if you want to this is just for actually debugging then we're going to set proxy equal to true and then we're going to set debunk equal to no. So we're setting proxy back equal to truce because they're basically, um, they are basically already have a tag. And if they want to hit the proxy again, we're going to set it back. We're going to set it back to true because we don't want to stop them from using the proxy. And then we're going to do if value equals no. So basically, if we hit the no button, then all we're going to do is we're going to re basically reset everything. So we're going to enemy tech. We're, we're going to say, uh, you're not ready. We we'll reset the camera, we're gonna reset the UI, and then we're gonna fire a server. And the reason why we're firing a server with uh, an empty string is because we wanna re we wanna uh, get our speed back to normal. We, we don't wanna change our speed back in the client because they uh, we don't want people tweaking with our speed. So the best way would be firing to the client, to the server, so we can change our speed so we get it back to normal. And then we're gonna set proxy equal to true because we wanna be able to see the, uh, the our proxy so we can hit the F button if we want to again. Then we're gonna wait one second, then we're gonna set debounds equal to new, and then we're gonna return. So that's what's gonna happen when we hit the no button. And then now here, here comes like the real, the real juice. So all we're gonna do is if statements, so when a statement's fired from the uh, from the client, if it's equal to our strength trainer or our medic trainer or our shadow trainer, then we're all we're gonna do is animate the text. This is gonna be the this is, this is gonna go to our main text here. So it all has main text here. It's gonna have uh, their own certain commands. So I could change this be I can change this to be like um this is our strength we can be like oh you are now strong enough not or oh, you have true power and our matter trainer could be like uh now do you feel that tingle inside your body we can change to whatever we want depending on the statement or the or the trainer and that's pretty straightforward and we have if not statement so basically this this found statement basically saying if this was if this was not fired already then we can fire this but if it's already fired this is not fired and then we're going to set the found statement equal to true so we make sure that this is already fired and we cannot fire this again and then we're gonna fire. Then we're gonna fire to the server, and we're gonna fire the statement, so we know that we can add a tag, just so we can clarify that we actually have this move for more, for more security. Then we're gonna set the pro. All we're gonna do is set the proxy. Everything that we did in here, just resetting everything, setting the proxy, resetting the UI, resetting the camera, and setting debounce equal to nil, and then returning. All right, now let's go to the server side. So for the server side, when we fire the remote event with the statement, we're gonna of course have the player. We're gonna have the statement as well. And we're gonna print a statement so you can just so you just know what's being fired, right? So if we so if we have the if the meta trainer is fired from the client and they don't have the meta trainer tag, then all we're gonna do is give them the tag. And it's gonna be the same thing for the strength trainer. So if they have if they, if we fire strength, if we fire the strength trainer string from the client, but they don't and they don't have a tag as well, then we're gonna give them the tag and, and then we're gonna basically get the flash tool that's inside of our replicate storage. So let's go to replicate storage, it says replicate storage.skills. And then we're gonna go to our flash step because that's our gonna be our strength move. What they're gonna get when they get the strength trainers uh, moves or whatnot. Then we're gonna clone that, and then all we're gonna do is we're gonna pair it to our backpack so we actually can be able to use it. And then we're gonna do the same thing for our shadow trainer. We're gonna do uh, if they fire a shadow trainer, and if they don't have a shadow trainer tag, meaning that they don't have this move already, then then we're gonna give them the tag because now they actually have the move now. And then we're gonna basically clone the uh, the wraith move, so the little shadow stink move that can basically go like under shadows and teleport. And we're gonna basically pair it to our backpack. And then we're gonna set our speed back to normal. So I know you guys remember when we fired that default string when um when we, we fired that default string. This is where we, that's why we fired it because if since we're firing nothing at all, say stem is gonna be an empty string. It's just gonna it's just gonna fire this and set the speed back to normal. So that's basically how you make your NPC skill giver system. If you guys have any questions about how, like anything that I miss inside the system that you want to add or you want to ask, or if you want to change it up a little bit and you don't know how to do it with the steps that I provided, just hit me up my Discord, hit our, our helpers to my Discord server. We, we love to help you guys and like try to help you guys make this on your own, try to add us to your game. Hope you guys have a great day. Hope you guys enjoy your night, enjoy your day, enjoy your afternoon, whatever time you guys are in and peace out.